Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to Granny B's house. Are you having a good day? Oh, I hope so. Granny B's having a good day. Are you remembering to be kind to those people around you? You know, every little act of kindness you do makes this world a better place. This book I'm going to read you today is written from the perspective of a happy little dog. But I did a little more reading and I learned that the illustrator used herself and her dog as an example. It's called The Best Day Ever and it's written by Marilyn Singer and illustrated by Leah Nixon. I just need to give you a little bit of background about Leah Nixon. She was helping to build a Habitat for Humanity house and she had an accident and ended up being paralyzed from the armpits down. So her first question when she woke up from the fall was, will I still be able to draw? So I hope you'll enjoy these illustrations that Leah Nixon drew. And I hope you'll enjoy this puppy having the best day ever. All right, Granny B. Here we go. Can you see that? Wake up happy, have a stretch. Then I sniff the air. After breakfast, it's time to dig. Got a special box. Find a bone, a tennis ball, and some dirty socks. Best day ever. There's a kitty in the yard. Chase it up a tree. Let that cat know I'm the boss till she chases me. Best day ever. Steal a frisbee from a pooch where we go to run. Eat a hot dog off a bench, but I leave the bun. Best day ever. Head up farther in the park. Swim across the lake. Scare away some wiggly thing. Heard it's called a snake. Best day ever. Race through puddles full of mud. Love the way they squish. Roll on something that smells great. It's a nice dead fish. Ew. Best day ever. Quickly jump on my best friend. He begins to yell, down girl, you get off of me. Phew-ee, what's that smell? Not the best day ever. Looks like he's hanging his head. He knows he's in trouble. Well, not he, she. She knows she's in trouble. Hate this tub, this kind of wet, and the taste of soap. Will this bath be over soon? Something tells me, nope. Not the best day ever. Done at last, I give a shake cause I'm feeling damp. Bump a table and, oh no, I knocked down a lamp. Not the best day ever. Then my best friend hollers, now what did you do? Tuck my tail and slink away, feeling really blue. Worst day ever. Later on, he finds me curled up on a rug. He snuggles close, pets my head, offers me a hug. Not the worst day ever. I'm sorry that I shouted. I know it wasn't cool. I think we need more lessons. We'll go to training school. 
Not the worst day ever. Nothing's broken. You smell nice. Everything's okay. Hurry, he says, bring your ball. Let's go out and play. Best day ever. Well, that little girl puppy had a quite an adventurous day, didn't she? And she sounds like she's pretty good company for her best friend in the wheelchair. So I hope you got something warm and wonderful from this story, realizing that even through a bad situation, somebody has come out positive, drawing pictures, even though she can't move her legs or can't feel her tummy, she has made the best of her life by becoming an illustrator of children's books. So if something bad is happening and you think your day is going to be not the best day ever, just remember to stay positive because good things can come out of bad days. So, you know, Granny B feels fortunate every day to be able to get up in the morning and move around any way I want to. And I hope you do too. I hope you remember to be thankful that everything works in your body. And if everything doesn't work in your body, I hope you'll be thankful for what still works. Oh boy, Granny B got deep on this one. I want you to have the best day ever, just like this little girl puppy in my book. And I hope you'll remember that Granny B loves you, and I want you to come back and see me again real soon. Okay? Bye-bye. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I will read you another story.